Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 7th to the 13th of September 2020. We have a very intense week this week as, like a fever, everything has to come up and run its course. So a couple of really, really strong aspects here. We need to be still and gentle with ourselves as we allow these energies to be brought to the surface so they can be cleansed. So on Monday we have Saturn square Mars stationary. So just to go back on that slightly, Mars is stationary at the moment, which means it's between turning from direct to retrograde. Mars will turn retrograde on Wednesday, Thursday. And when a planet is stationary on that tipping point, changing directions as it were, metaphorically, then we can feel a certain intensity, especially with Mars, because it's our passion. So this week we are going to feel some of that passion and whether it is or isn't in alignment. And Saturn wants us to strip back to the core and claim our integrity. So anything that's out of alignment will be shown to us between now and 13th, 14th of November. But first of all, we can step back to the end of June. So from the end of June till this week, things have come up into our awareness regarding where we're putting our passion and our vital life force energy. If that's coming from the old paradigm, which is fight, flight, survival, fear, lack and limitation, and we were trying to bring things back into place, for example, how we were living in January and then coming out of the slowdown, trying to recreate those same structures, then we'll have met blocks and frustrations along the way. And this is very necessary because we're not supposed to just rush out and get busy again and restructure our lives how they were from the same mental paradigm. This whole slowdown has been to take us in to find our center and to really find what we care about and our values. So 2020 continues to deliver its massive, life-changing stories. But this week we can look back to how we've been living in July and August, where we've been trying to place our energy and whether that's actually coming from the right place or whether we're still in the matrix, as it were, the survival, the rat race. So Saturn square Mars stationary on Monday, asking us to be really integral. What do we actually believe in? Where do we want to put our energy? And to examine frustration, to realign our will with divine cosmic order, but allow any frustrations and angers to come up very cathartic, very cleansing, and we do have to, like I say, let the fever run its course. So Mars is directed masculine will, and that can often come from the head. So check what you're thinking, check what you're trying to force, to control where you're trying to have your will from the smaller person. See if you can step back and align with the will of the soul, which will be found in the heart. This energy permeates into Tuesday, where we can rest and reset. So the old you is no more, and the new you is emerging, sovereign and bright. But this is a process that we have to contemplate, harness, and bring out the best of ourselves. We're gonna be creating from now forwards, from the center outwards, rather than reaching out, and trying to attach the things outside of ourselves and make them happen. So a very restful, reflective day there on Tuesday. There is some golden energy around this week as we have the Sun at Trine at Jupiter. This is a grand harmonic, golden vibes to enrich and embolden us. So it's a letting go of the frustrated ego and the desire to push and force. There's much, much bigger energy in our knowing, in our majesty. Jupiter is also stationary at the moment getting ready to go direct at the weekend. So our real power is found deep inside and connecting with that and amplifying from that space is how we manifest going forwards. So that's Mars retrograde coming up and Jupiter direct coming up, both working with us to light our spark and amplify our true essence. So like I say, by Thursday it is Mars retrograde that energy is going to be with us until the middle of November. 
So it's a retrospective. We can look back and see, well, what were the effects of our actions and thoughts? Where did we get ourselves into a negative space? What were the beliefs behind it? That could be lack. I must work to earn money to survive. That could be in the month of Virgo. I must work hard. I must be productive. Doing more equals gaining more. Beliefs like that are instilled in us from our families and from our family histories and by society as a whole, keeping us anxious and disconnected. But really we only want to put our energy into projects going forwards that are really exciting, joyful and we're passionate about. If we want to escape the matrix of servitude and really get back to our power. So by Thursday, re-examine your core beliefs, what they've led to in the past, and then reconnect to your core passions and incubate that feeling as we harness our sovereign power to manifest better, best even. By Friday, we have the Sun opposition Neptune. So once a year, the Sun and Neptune come into an opposite alignment, which is the equivalent of a full moon, if you like, Sun opposite moon. The sun shines its cleansing light of conscious awareness into the nebulous spaces of Neptune, the subconscious. So we plunge deep into our subconscious waters to see what's still lurking in the dark places. This would be cellular, this will be old hurt, emotional baggage, or deluded beliefs. So to receive the blessings that this brings requires stillness and introspection, but maybe expect some secrets to be revealed to come up and be cleansed in a cellular, emotional knowing, using the bright light of the sun for that healing. Then by the weekend, Jupiter turns direct at 17 degrees Capricorn, if you're following along. And this is really lovely. One of the reasons we've not been able to come out of our cocoon over the summer, one of the reasons we've been intentionally stopped, is to stop long enough not to rush back into the old way of being. So as Jupiter turns direct, a glorious transition now comes forwards to take us from separate, struggling, fear-based human to divine, aligned, empowered beings. And if you think about it, this has never happened before. Most of the world has stopped. We haven't been able to know, control, plan. We've had to surrender and live in the present moment, reconnect with our true values. This is truly world-changing. So to really appreciate what's been going on here, been a massive retreat, huge healing capabilities, and a 180 degree turnaround from where we were taught to live in fear and struggle and lack to realizing that we are in control, but we're in control from our magnificence, from letting go of the old beliefs and limitations, and really allowing full potential without having to act upon it. So really big week here, following on from last week as well. The energies keep coming day by day, but the motivation here is to connect to our true essence, to leave the old, limited version of ourselves behind, which was merely an accumulation of a lot of stories that we've experienced. But we don't have to identify with that and make a personality out of it. We can just take the lessons of what we wanted to learn and move on light and bright. So as we do start to come out of our cocoon, as Jupiter starts to go direct, it will be you that's steering the ship from your inner power and your majesty to create a sovereign life. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available one-to-one -one online for readings or tuition. And as we go into the autumn, this is a great time to get to know your chart, to reconnect with all of those inner archetypes, like a soul retrieval, so that you can step into your wholeness. So please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com. I post on Facebook at AstroZo, Instagram at ZoeHine7, and these videos and more are on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. So wishing you a transformative week. These are really the final weeks before we have to put all of this into practice. So let's go really deep, bring things up, release them, and liberate ourselves under these amazing skies. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.